last week, like we got off of here and the next day hit and, and uh, somebody tried to assassinate Donald Trump. <laughs> I think that's something that we need to talk about. So pretty much Donald Trump is on stage and I'm not going to show it because like who knows what type of, they probably demonetize my whole channel if I show something like that. Donald Trump is on stage and like he's in Pennsylvania somewhere and he's pointing out to the crowd or he's pointing at some PowerPoint or something and then they start to hear these little crack crackle noises and they realize some shooting is happening. Trump reaches up at his ear then he gets on the ground and all that. They're screaming. People are screaming. Uh, we find out essentially that that the crazy screaming we heard was because a man in the crowd was actually shot in the head. He was a firefighter. He was like covering up his family, you know, covering his daughter up to save her from getting hit. And he actually got shot in the head. So uh, Trump got hit in his ear. And this was like a real life assassination attempt on a on a former president in front of people. So uh, that's pretty crazy. So the person who did it, the person who did the shooting, his name was uh, what's his first name? Crooks. Um, let me see. Dang, what is it? What is that dude's first name? I know his name was Crooks, but I can't think of his full name. Um, excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Oh, Matthew Crooks. Oh, no, Thomas Matthew Crooks. Sorry. All right. So pretty much, um, he was he was up on like a a roof nearby. It wasn't far at all. And the the sick part about it is, from what I what I heard and what I seen, people who were there saying is that. They saw him climbing up on the roof and they told Secret Service and they told the police, hey, there's a dude over there climbing up on top of that roof right there. And I see him with a gun. And they said the Secret Service brushed him off and the police pretty much brushed him off. Like, I don't know if they if they thought he was they, these guys were joking or I don't even know why they would take that as a joke anyway without investigating. But they seen a man climbing up on top of, top of the roof. He was not inconspicuous at all he you anybody could see him because everybody was looking at the man i see multiple videos of people showing the camera of the dude crump climbing up there and pointing at him saying yo what's up with the guy up on the roof um so they told secret service secret service did nothing now let's insert what we heard i don't know if y'all heard um i seen clips of candace owens like critiquing the whole situation or looking at it and candace owens i know a lot of people look at her like um like cooned out type of thing and she does go that route for sure. But she also is like a deep conspiracy theorist, right? So the conspiracy theory that she's running with now is pretty much that the Secret Service was in on it. That's why they let the man go up there and do that. They knew what was happening and they allowed it to happen pretty much. And the person who was the shooter actually missed or he didn't execute on, on what he was supposed to execute on. So that was so people thought that Candace Owens was trying to say it was staged. She was saying it was set up by somebody in the Secret Service. That's what she was saying. Not that it was like fake. She wasn't saying that. She was like going conspiracy theory on the, on the track where it's like, because you know the Secret Service, they are president first and the president is Biden. So she's thinking like, hey, they put the order in to get the, the old boy hit. And so they looking at it like they tried to get him out the race with the felony thing. Then they tried to get him out with the assassination thing. These two major things didn't work. It's like she's looking at it. A lot of people think it's fake anyway. Uh, but so they the weird thing about this um, Matthew, the Thomas Matthew Crooks dude, right, is that he was actually registered as a Republican. But then they look a little bit further back in his history. But he was he was only 20 years old, so he never actually voted in the presidential election. So he didn't vote for Trump the first time or not the first time, but the second time. He didn't vote for him either time. But they look a little bit further back in his history and he actually donated to like a, a Democratic leaning political organization. So it's a very strange like what's up with this dude? He's young. You donating to political organizations at 17. I mean, that's not like a bad thing, but it's kind of weird. Like what type of person, what you into? And then you registered Republican, but then you try to shoot Trump. And it's like, to me, what I, now this is, I guess this is my conspiracy theory. And I want, um, I want y'all to chime in and let me know what y'all theories are. My theory is that this is more of there has been several situations that come up where these white supremacists are trying to uh, incite a civil war, right? 
That's what this looks like to me. This looks like somebody on that side of white supremacy has said, I'm going to sacrifice myself. I'm going to shoot at, I'm going to take my shot. They're going to kill me. And everybody's going to think that I'm a Democrat and they're going to think, oh, it's time to go to war with the Democrats. So now the, the, the right supremacists or the right wing and the left wing are going to go to some type of civil war. That's what I think he was trying to do. I think he like. I, I mean, I think it's a stupid plan, but to me, it feels like that's what he was trying to do. He was there. They was in rural Pennsylvania. He drove an hour away from another part of another rural part of Pennsylvania. And he drove to go take a shot at a president, at a former president. Like he couldn't have thought that all the way through. Immediately when he shot, when he started shooting, they popped him in his head, did him in quick, right? So my theory is he was trying to incite a civil war and he thought that everybody would believe that he was a Democrat. But everybody quickly realized, wait, he shot at Trump and he's one of them. So they found that out like immediately. So, I mean, he just pretty much killed somebody. He nipped Trump in the ear and then they bodied him. No civil war is happening, not because of that anyway. And now everybody's just confused at what type of 20-year-old kid was this. Or 20-year-old was this. He's just a weirdo. He looks extremely strange uh, or he looked strange before they opened his top up like like a, like a can opener. So let me let me read what some of y'all are saying about this here. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. It was a laugh for me. Oh, oh hold on. Y'all talking about the case. Hold on. Um, let me see. That's fine. He's a registered Republican. Yep. The window was open in the other building where the, another shot came from. Rain Supreme. Trump is diabolical. His team pulled a Matt and Hail Mary on rookie mode. Yeah. Matt, it all looks weird, especially how everybody responded on the scene. And tr oh, Trump posing was crazy. He comes up out the out the joint like with, with one of these like. All right. So look, let's take let's talk about two scenarios. OK, my, you got my scenario. What I think happened where they was trying to incite like a race war or like a political civil war type of thing. Or Trump staged it. Like Trump set it up. And Trump said, hey, I need, I need, a, I need a great shooter, right? I don't need him shooting anything too crazy. Give him a 22 long. Have him up on that roof over there. He's going to clip me right here in the ear. You know what I'm saying? I need him to hit me. But don't kill me. Like, so they, I, you know, they, I'm going by people who think that Trump set this up, right? I need them to hit me, but don't kill me, right? So I need them to clip me somewhere, make it good. And we, and I'm a, I think Trump said, I'm going to do the rest from there. And that's pretty much what he did. Somebody got killed in the crowd. So that makes it even more believable, right? Which is a tragedy. Uh, so Trump gets up out of the, from under the Secret Service huddle that they have under him. And there's like, these Secret Service look like the most unserious group of people ever. They don't look like they're trying to protect no president. He got up, put his fist. He could have got shot again. But anyway, Trump comes up. He emerges from the joint, put the black power fist up <laughs> or white power fist. And uh, he he the crowd went crazy. So it's like <clears throat> you are in rural Pennsylvania. You get shot at. You get hit. And then you come up with one of the fist in the air situations as if it, it, it could. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It could be a Mr. B set. You know how Mr. B set sets look and they look extremely real and believable. And all? It could be a Mr. B set. Not going to lie. Who knows? So I'm not mad at the people who have that type of theory, but I need people to like really flesh out these theories because I'm not mad at the Trump theory that Trump set the whole thing up because it, it would benefit him to actually get hit. I, you know, nobody wants to be shot. But if you are that desperate and you're trying to overcome like some whatever type of narrative is about you, that could do it. Um, let's see here. Life of Sleeping Beauty said trying to tra take Trump out like Sleeping Beauty is nasty work. That's facts. That's facts. Very nasty. Kim says she addressed it on Nick Starl's show uh, channel, something with her YouTube channel. Someone was trying to help her get her videos back up. Dang. They hacked her that quick. She just started that channel like two weeks ago, like a week ago. Stacy said 45 minutes from where I live. That's crazy. Hippie Easter said Fonny's picture was on his phone from what I heard. On whose phone? Trump? Wow. 
Gigi said, I really believe it was stage. Rain said it was all stage. Uh, Hippie said, right. Matt said, I don't believe he actually got hit. Would be too risky. Matt, that is extremely risky if he did set it up and then let the person hit him for real. Because who do you trust to shoot that accurately? To hit you somewhere that it will shock the world, but it will not hurt you significantly. Now, if let's say he was to stage it. Do y'all think he would actually trust somebody to do, do that to him? Do we think he would trust somebody to do that to him? Now, if we go with Matt's theory, he didn't get hit. So what do you think happened? He When he went on the ground, somebody, they put the little special effects blood on him? Because I have seen other people saying that. When he was laid on the ground, he opened up a ketchup packet and put it on his ear. I have seen people say that. I'm not mad at that theory either because it's hilarious. I'm not mad at that theory either. DJ said four females did his security. I'm not going to speak to the sexism, but it is peculiar. I'm not going to lie to you. It is peculiar. Um, DJ uh, Life uh, of Sleeping Beauty said, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. DJ, if it was a setup, it was the perfect setup, but someone got unalive. That's where the bag comes in. That's facts. Uh, two people, because the shooter got killed, 20-year-old weirdo, and then the, the, firefight, the former firefighter got bodied. So... Um, that's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, they, he said he never said anything about the injury to his ear. You seen that? Now, do y'all see that at the Republican National Convention, these people are showing up to support Trump by putting bandages over their ears? Are y'all seeing this? So they're treating Trump like he's Nelly now. Remember, the, I don't know how, how old y'all are, how young y'all are. Y'all should remember Nelly in the mid to early 2000s with the band-aid over over the eye that became like a thing for some people some people copied that i mean i didn't but some people for sure copied that um in the midst of all this yes like i said they rolled right out of the shooting attempt or whatever that was and they rolled right into the republican national convention i'm not gonna lie I didn't watch that. And the reason I don't even watch these national conventions that these political parties do is because it's a lot of like weirdo cult like behavior from the Republicans and from the Democrats. Everybody is cultish. Like I'm it's weird to me. Like y'all are more fans than worried. About, they're more worried about being fans of these people than worried about politics. They, they bring in like black pastors up there to speak for the Republican National Convention. They sound crazy to me. But. Do what y'all got to do for y'all. I'm sure these people paid y'all well, so get go get your money. I don't. It's not for me. I'll just say it's not for me. I don't watch those things. I see clips and all that, and I. But 